All right, this week's topic of conversation is brought to you by Cardio and Coffee. All right. Um, hey guys, I hope all is well. I hope that we are enjoying the transition to fall. Uh, today I am here in the polling office so you guys get a little bit more of a sneak peek with my new high-tech gadgets, thanks to Justin. Um, and I want to chat a little bit about something that is super common in the world of knee injuries, and that is the meniscal tear. That dreaded thing that we hear more often than not, I'm sure you've heard whether it be a friend or a family member say, oh my goodness, I tore my meniscus, um, and it hurts. It does, but you know what? It doesn't have to hurt forever. And the big thing is, is that you don't always need surgery. And yes, there may be scenarios where it's important. However, let's chat a little bit about this. And let's kind of make an informed decision whether maybe or not surgery is needed at a certain point. So when we think about meniscus tears, there's two different types. We have our acute traumatic tear. So that happens when somebody's had, say, a sporting injury or something like that. And then we can also have the degenerative tear. So the degeneration over time of those fibrocartilaginous rings that sit in our knee, um, that's completely normal. Mm, yep, I said normal. Can you believe that? it's normal for the meniscus to tatter a little bit over time. So who's to say, if you start to develop knee pain, um, that that meniscal tear hasn't been there for a long time. And maybe it's just become acutely irritated because of a certain move that you did a little bit off. But that's for another topic of conversation. So let's chat a little bit as to whether or not you think that these might need surgery. Believe it or not, for degenerative tears, and I'm using, gonna use that term a lot, um, it's been shown that you don't always necessarily need the surgery. And what once used to be thought as if it's torn, take it out, may not be the best um, you know, thought process in regards to this. Really, the new slogan for meniscal tears, um, based on certain papers that I've read and certain information that I found, is save the meniscus. Yes, save it. Um, and there's reasons behind that. If we think about what the meniscus does for the knee, it's a load absorber, um, helps absorb impact, helps stabilize the knee, helps the knee move a lot more comfortably. And if we go in and continuously take a little bit, take a little bit, or shave away tattered parts or take out a big piece of it, over time, you know what's likely to happen? It's likely that we could develop arthritis. Um, it could happen faster. It could happen kind of Meanwhile, you never really had a ton there. And that's a thing to think about with surgery. Let's talk a little bit about the degenerative first and then I'll go into the acute. But with the degenerative tear, if there's evidence of significant arthritis on your MRI, okay, or on your imaging, removing that piece of meniscus may not always be beneficial it may actually continue to linger, the pain may continue to linger, and you may develop more arthritis over time leading to a knee replacement. And that's okay, and I don't want you to be scared of that. Um, some people are very timid. If you end up needing one, it's great, and typically people will have a better quality of life with less knee pain. However, meniscal kind of that arthroscopic partial meniscectomy is not necessarily going to decrease or slow down your rate of arthritis. All right, think about that. Just because you have the meniscus removed, it's not going to slow down the development of arthritis. Just like if you stop moving, that's also not going to slow down the rate of arthritis because if I want you to think about this, you have two people, somebody super active, somebody's been sitting around for a while, both of them can have the same amount of arthritis. Typically arthritis likes movement um, and well-implemented movement. So if you need to figure that out, that's why we're here. Um, so when it comes to surgery for these types of things, similar to if you have an acute tear, if it's causing mechanical deficits over time, locking, clicking, instability, giving way, um, those types of things, it's impacting your functional um, you know, habits, the things you love to do, then, it might be beneficial to have surgery. However, if it's a little bit of pain that waxes and wanes, it comes and goes, it's not always there, you don't necessarily need to have it done. And with conservative treatments, such as physical therapy, and here's the thing, that four to six weeks of conservative care may not be enough to avoid a surgical intervention. Sometimes it can take three months, six months, and 
some people even say up to a year to feel the full effects of a true um, strength regimen that we're given or that you're given um, from your physical therapist, right? And here's the other thing. If you feel like you're not making progress at one, just like a bad hairdresser, don't always say, oh, it will never work because it never worked the first time. Give it a shot again. All right. So there are some thoughts in regards to that degenerative meniscal tear. Now for the acute tears, I want a similar thought process. You've gone in, you have an acute tear. Now we all see football players who go in, they have their meniscus kind of, you know, that partial meniscectomy um, because they want to get back on the field as fast as possible. They're not necessarily thinking about um, longevity purposes. And if you're not an elite athlete, I want you to think about this. If you're having a sporting injury, um, obviously playing a sport can be kind of you know, everybody's livelihood, running, jumping, doing all that. However, think about longevity a little bit in this. When we talk about these acute meniscal tears, as I've already said, if it's causing you continuous mechanical deficits, the locking, clicking, um, popping, giving way, I'm going to say it over and over again, these things, then maybe after um, your trial of conservative treatment, remember it could take three months, then surg surgery will be the option. However, Unlike a long time ago, where the the um, slogan basically was, if it's torn, take it out. Now we want to do the thing. We want to save the meniscus. And that's a new slogan in regards to kind of, you know, what we do with these types of things. If we can save it. There are parts of the meniscus that can be repaired. They can be sutured and they can mend back together. Um, there's also so many new technologies and so many new surgical procedures out there that can help kind of, um, you know, reserve and keep, um, you know, preserve, I should say, parts of these menisci that are torn and also maybe regenerate them as well. Yeah, things are advancing. Let's remember that. So science is advancing. Humans are advancing. We know that movement is key and we know that our menisci are, are important. So we don't want to just go and take out the pieces and leave people to think that it's going to be okay because sometimes after a meniscal surgery, believe it or not, people do have more discomfort or similar discomfort to before. It's true. And it's not always the end all be all for a knee injury because arthritis causes pain. If you have arthritis, think about that. And it doesn't always cause pain, but that's something totally different that I could talk about another day. Um, you don't always need surgery for meniscal tears and we can go, I can go on and on about this all day, but I'm going to save you guys a little bit. If you have questions, go ahead, please feel free to reach out. Um, you know, I have anecdotal experience. I've had this done myself. I've opted for the surgical route. I have also opted for the non-surgical route. And here I am nine years or 10 years post my last injury, running, jumping, doing all these exercise videos for you guys. And some days I have a little bit of discomfort, but it's not always. And that's something to think about. Keep yourself strong, keep yourself healthy, keep yourself moving. And if you don't feel comfortable with your first consult, if you do see somebody for your knee, look up a second or visit your PT and ask what they think. All right, guys, as always, if you have any questions, feel free um, to reach out. And I look forward to hopping back on here again. Um, and really, if you guys have any topics you wanna learn about, please don't hesitate to ask us. Um, I think John, Justin, and I are always coming up with some things for you guys, but we always love input, whether it be running a certain sport, a certain injury, uh, we want to teach you guys and that's what we love to do. So as always, like I already said, reach out with any questions and I will be back in a few weeks with uh, another chat about something else that I don't know yet. <laughs>